Hello, my name is Bogdan. I'm the owner of DNN Sharp. In this video, I will show you how to do group validation in action form. And that is the ability to validate multiple controls at once. So regardless if one is valid or not, uh, other fields will get validated at once. So the result of the whole thing, of the whole validation, does not depend on a single input. It depends on the validation of all the fields. Uh, I will take an, an example, and this video will be about that example. Let's say that we have a form with uh, some phone numbers, but we only require one of them. So we have three fields. It doesn't matter which one is filled in, but it needs to be filled in uh, with a valid phone number. So let's see how we do this in uh, action form. I'll start by creating a new, a new uh, action form module, add it to the page. Then I will go and configure it. I will clear all the existing uh, fields and I will add uh, new fields. Let's say home phone, work phone, and um, other phone. Okay, and now I will go into the validation section of each one and I will choose uh, the phone number validator. So uh, the phone number, if supplied, it's in the uh, correct format. And I will do this for all the form fields. And now, I need to validate that at least one of them is filled in. And to do this, I will use the new feature called group validation. How this works, first you have to group the controls that you want to validate together. So for example, I will set group one to all these controls, but I could set any group. For example, I could set group, group three to all controls. It doesn't matter which group, as long as they're all in the same group. And to prove this, I will make this into group one. The last control is in another group. And here in the next uh, drop down, there will be a list of, with all the group validators currently installed on the system. Right now, um, action form comes with, um, with uh, one group validator that uh, requires that at least one uh, field in a group is filled in. But there are also other possibilities. You can create op web service validators. And I will uh, come back with another video to show you how to do that. So right now, all the, all the fields will be uh, in group three, except the last one, which is group one. And it will be at least one is field. So I will save this. And now I'm back to the form. What, if I try to submit the form, it will say that at least one field is required in the group. I will start by uh, to type a new number. You will see that the word phone now uh, is valid. So the group three is valid, at least one is filled, but now the first field in the group still is not valid because it's in not in correct format. So I need to put a correct format. Now the first group is valid. The last field is in a different group. And because of this, I need to, to fill it too. So now I can submit the form. So you see, I cannot submit the form without having at least one. For example, now I'll put the word form to have at least one field uh, filled in and valid. So that's, that's uh, the whole thing about it. It's not a big deal. It's very uh, easy to set this up. And uh, thank you for your time and I hope uh, this video has uh, been helpful for you.